Hello Lucy Ratch, I hope you're okay. So it's been five months since I did episode one of Healthy Habits and I think you can physically see the difference. Just watched episode one back myself and to think in January how like puffy my face was and just like how unhealthy I could see that I felt. Obviously it was a much harder then, it was like dark mornings and early dark nights, like seeing it at five o'clock dark is very different to what it's like right now in June. And it's crazy to watch back episode one and two where I'm out of breath going for a walk, whereas now I'm running on the treadmill most mornings and I'm just so much more active. Obviously there's been a few dips within the last five months where I have regained some weight or I've just been inconsistent, especially when we've been going on holiday. We went away for our friend's wedding and when I got back, it was really hard for me to go back into that mind frame of being consistent and I think that's the biggest change that I've made that's really stuck. Healthy eating and prioritising and making sure that I'm organised with having food in the house, my meal preps, or using HelloFresh, which has been amazing. I'm gonna make HelloFresh after this. They've kindly sponsored this video, so thank you so much HelloFresh for working with me, and they have been a massive part of this journey of me being able to be consistent and enjoy cooking and choosing healthy meals that are in a calorie deficit. Some things that I set out to do in January and have actually done, and I think it's made a really big difference so I really encourage you to do the same is sleep schedule I said in January that I wanted to get a healthy bedtime and early start and try so hard to stick to it and I'm naturally a bit of a night owl as I've said before but I've cracked it I've done it I go to bed now like last night we went to bed it was still light because obviously June it gets dark at like 10 o'clock now before it gets dark at 5 so going to bed at 10 is really hard because it's light outside still but getting up is so much easier so it's kind of like switched around went to bed last night 10 and having those good amount of hours of sleep has really made a difference to my productivity with work how I feel in day to day I've got more energy and just having a bit more structure to life I think going to bed at like 1am and then getting up at 9, 10 is just not a good structure, especially when you're in your own business. So yeah, I think having that since January has been amazing. And I really think the Whoop band that I was wearing all the time had a big impact on that. The second thing that I put on that list and I've stuck to is not eating late. That has made a huge difference. So now we eat no later than six o'clock, whereas before sometimes we'd be getting in from work, taking Max for a walk, then coming in or going to the gym and we'd be eating at like nine o'clock, which is just so bad for your digestion when you're sleeping. So we've really stopped that. We eat a lot earlier and I also don't really eat breakfast anymore. So I just have a big lunch and a big tea, which is helping so much. And also with my dad's cancer diagnosis, he's doing so well as well. So thank you so much for everyone asking. Um, he's having radiotherapy, which he's got a few more months of that to do. And then he's completely got the oil clear, which is amazing. But one thing we've done as a family is reduce salt and processed meats, which again, been a massive big difference, and alcohol, hardly drinking any alcohol. I'm really into not percent Coronas um, with lime, which I never thought I would do because I'm a massive tequila lover, but yeah, really cut down on drinking. I bet I could name on five fingers how many drinks I've had this year, which is I'd never thought I would say because I did, I have in the past enjoyed the odd night out and drinking excessively, but yeah, I just haven't like even one or two, so that's been a big change. And like I said, my dad's diagnosis has had a huge impact in me making these choices, which has probably made things a lot easier for me to do because you kind of see the bigger picture of like why you don't want to put things in your body. But seeing the results as well of like how I'm feeling and looking is also a bonus. I'm reading my notes because I made some notes because it's quite hard to remember what's happened in the last five months. The Stanley Cup that Gymshark kindly gifted me and has changed my life. I love that Stanley Cup. It makes me drink so much more water. So believe the hype, it's amazing. Like it, I can actually keep my drink cold for at least 48 hours sometimes. Like I'll put ice in the Stanley Cup and then the following night, it's still got ice in it. It's just incredible, so. It's worth hype. Don't go get for like a knockoff. Go for the actual Stanley Cup because it's unbelievable. Talking of Gymshark as well, they have got a big sale on this week. So I've inserted my discount code if you want to use that because their sale's gonna be amazing. And if you use my code, then I will get commission, which I'm so thankful if anybody does use my discount code. It's just Emily, it's super easy to remember. But yeah, they've got an amazing sale going on this weekend. So if you are 
love it any of my workout clothes now is the time to buy i've now lost over a stone which is amazing and i'm actually only i think it's either four or five pounds away from pre-lockdown weight which didn't think i would ever say so i'm really happy with that and i think my goals have changed more now so instead of it being focused on how much weight i can lose it's more about toning my body up so i'm gonna start training more i've just started weight training again i might even get a pt i just need to find the right person i wish that i could just bring someone to the house but i definitely do not have any indoor gym as you can see it's my living room and my dining room that i'm using i think if i just focus more on training like i did pre-lockdown then naturally the weight comes off so I don't want to be so focused on losing weight like I have been and like on the scales. I want to focus more on toning my body up because I can definitely see that's the biggest difference between now and pre-lockdown. I'm definitely a lot like, there's no muscle at all. I'm <laughs> just all jiggly, which is obviously fine. Um, but I really enjoy training and I've really enjoyed running, which I didn't think I would do. But the fact that I can now run on the treadmill, whereas before I could hardly walk up the hill without being out of breath, is a really rewarding and nice feeling i'm actually even thinking about doing couch to 5k and i really want to start an elsl run club would anybody actually come to a run club in leeds if i started one because i feel like i need motivation and then yeah i think just doing what we've been doing pre-planning having hello fresh come in choosing healthy options that i can have the nutrition so i know exactly how many calories i'm having definitely not tracking calories still which is good and the meal prep company I've been using, that's been really good. We freeze a lot of those, so I just get one out when I need a healthy lunch. M&S meals I've been using, I think they're called Thai something. I'll, I'll insert a video here of what it is. Thai something. I think I forgot to take a picture of it before I ate it, but the packaging is on there. And they're so good because they're only like 300 calories and they're so tasty. Um, and get a high protein intake in there as well. Obviously, it's not been consistent. Every month there's been ups and downs. I did have a few relapses with crumpets and low back. But I've been really good since and just cut down on that. But yeah, I'm just really enjoying feeling good. I do think it's a lot easier in summer than it is in winter. So that is one thing. And don't get me wrong, it might come to October and I regain a bit of weight or I'd get off track because that's what's tended to happen each year. And it always has because it's just easier to fall off then. But I don't know, I'm enjoying it and that's the biggest thing. I think once you're enjoying it and you really change your mindset and it does become habits because I think in the last few weeks, it's not felt like I'm trying to change anything. It's just felt like natural for me to enjoy eating healthily and work out and run and enjoy all these things. So it has become a habit, which obviously is what the series is all about, being healthy habits. And yeah, like I said, I'm not doing it for vanity reasons. I'm not doing it to look good. I'm doing it to feel good. And I really hope that's come across in this video. So I'm really hungry right now. I'm gonna go make us a HelloFresh for tea. As I said, HelloFresh have sponsored this video. So I wanted to share with you why I love HelloFresh and I've got a really good deal to share with you. If you've never tried HelloFresh before, it's so good. I've also been recommended HelloFresh on Instagram when I was asking for vegetarian options because I'm really trying to cut down on meat. I've stopped eating beef, pork and lamb. And then I had a thing on holiday with lobster, I shared it on Instagram that I felt so bad about eating this lobster. So I've really changed my eating habits with meat. So I'm eating chicken and fish and prawns still. Um, but I've actually tried to have more vegetarian options. So I've been having sweet potato curry and just, yeah, HelloFresh makes that so easy. And the amount of people who recommended HelloFresh for their recipes for vegetarian options, then I had to try all the vegetarian options and they've been amazing. Today we're gonna have a Stacey Solomon recipe, which is chicken noodles, I think it is. I'm gonna go inside and show you what I'm gonna cook. Actually sesame soy baked chicken thighs. I don't know where I've got the noodles from but I wanted to share with you how easy it is to make this. Anthony's in charge of cooking and I'm in charge of filming it. We've also had this crispy sea bream, which was amazing. And all the recipes are just so easy to follow and the nutrition information is just all laid out so you know exactly what you are eating, which is obviously so important when you are making healthier decisions. This is looking 10 out of 10. I'm very excited. So if you wanted to take advantage of my deal today, that is, you get 60% off, 60% guys, amazing, plus discount on your next two boxes, and you also get desserts for life. Not just for one order, but for life. How amazing is that? 